Another important finding from the research was that successful information systems meet users where they are today. And what that means is um, when you're getting information to people, it's better to go and follow the ways that they're already looking for information. And later you can start building them towards doing things in a different way. But it's important to meet them where they are so that they're going to find that information within the practices that they have already established for finding things. Um, and what's important about this is when you're thinking about how you're going to get the word out about Wikipedia, it's really important to think about where people are going to find information. Let's see. Yeah, so where do people look for information? And this applies both online and offline. So if we're talking about online, uh, we'll talk about that in a minute, actually. Where do people look for information? Offline, that could mean if you're a student, where do you go to find out what your reading list is for class? Um, where do you go to find out about how to use um, yeah, let's see. Where do you go to find out about resources that could be available to you as a student? Um, for people who aren't students, it's where do people in your community go when they're um, trying to get some kind of education, if they want to learn something new, or if they want to answer a question or find something, find some kind of service? Um, do they go to libraries? Um, do they visit um, like fairs, like a book fair? Do they go to community centers somewhere? And that might be a center that has education programs, or it might be somewhere else where your community gathers. Um, that could be a religious space or also um, a place where people meet for a hobby of some kind. The important thing is to put information about Wikipedia in places where people are already looking for information so that when they go there, they find, hey, Wikipedia, what is this? Ideally, your message will tell them, here's why it matters to you. Remember that earlier question. Um, so what you can do with this in the online space, um, one, of, sorry, one of the research findings um, may not be surprising to most people is that mobile apps for instant messaging and social media are very popular. Now, the original way that this research finding was, was presented was are exploding in popularity. Um, but that felt sort of um, also obvious. But what matters here is if you're sharing messages on social media, and I've already seen a lot of ideas come in that are about sharing things on social media. I think it is an effective way to network with people who care about similar things. It's a relatively cheap and easy way to get messages out to people, and it's fun. Um, so the thing when you're thinking about planning a social media project, the New Readers campaign, is to think about which social media channels are the best ones for you to use. Um, so I have another link to share here that I thought was interesting and surprising more than social media is exploding in popularity. Um, what? Nope. Go back. Good thing. Um, have this open on a different page. So I found this in um, a blog by the World Economic Forum. Um, and what this is, is a social media strategist has created a map for 2017 showing the popularity of different social networks by country. Um, and you can get in closer to this map when you're on there you're, um, on there yourself. But it's interesting to look to see. I mean, Facebook is very popular in many parts of the world, but it may not be the most popular um, form of social media in some areas. For example, um, what I'm seeing is in some parts of West Africa, LinkedIn is actually a more used social media network than Facebook is. Um, and that Instagram is actually a more popular one in southern parts of Africa. Over in East Asia, we're seeing Qzone um, and other apps like this. So it's a question of what social media apps 
Are you on? Do you know people on? And what's popular where you are? Um, so in the blog, the person, the author does call out that Facebook is um, often the top ranked one. So what they also did was look to see what is the second most popular social network. So this can be helpful when you're thinking of a strategy that's reaching people on multiple networks or if you want to try different things out. So in some places, there is no second most popular, but in many places, it's Instagram. So you're looking at places like Facebook, LinkedIn, and um, I'm going to say WeChat, but I know that that's not the correct answer of what I said earlier. But you're looking at places where people are sharing longer messages and different kinds of content and places like Instagram, where there are videos and less content in the in the headlines about that. Um, so I think it's important to look at, yeah, what's popular where you are and what's popular in the place that you want to reach. And then where are you active? And if you're not super active on social media, do you have friends who are? Are there influencers on social media who can help you with this? Um, and that can be people who have a lot of Twitter, like a lot of followers. Um, looking for those folks who might be able to spread your messages um, would be a great way to start planning that social media campaign. Um, and I've gone on about this for a little bit, but I wanted to share one last thing. Um, for people who are interested in social media projects, um, members of our communications team said that they would be happy to do a short social media uh, workshop later on in the month to share ideas and strategies for how you can plan effective social media campaigns. That includes doing research about who your target users, users are, who are the people that you're trying to reach with those messages and so forth. Um, so we'll put some information up about when that workshop will be and how you can sign up. 